I'm going to go to a different one now, um, and this one is called the Directory of Open Access Journals. So I'm going to go back to Google, and I'm going to search for Directory of Open Access Journals. There it is. So note this one down as well. This is number two. Um, and here it is. So I'm going to go into it. And this one has a search box as well, search directory of open access journals, and it also has an advanced search. So let's just click there and see what options they give us. Um, it looks like what they're going to do is just still give us one search box, but at least they have filters on the side, so we can work with that. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's hope that they accept truncation, and um, I think they probably do. And then we're going to do video games as well as a phrase. And if you wanted to, you could add other keywords in here too, like aggressive behavior. Um, I'm just keeping it simple because I think that this search system is not as robust as the one that we were using before in PsycInfo. All right, so I've got my search for violent and video games. And for the most part, um, in this one, you don't actually really need to use the filters for a journal article because everything in the directory of open access journals is a journal. In the last website we looked at, Digital Commons Network, it had other things in it, like it had publications from different kinds of organizations and it had books, so we had to use the filter. But this time I don't think we really need to. Um, and here we can see that there are different options. This one actually looks good, so this website's better. I think this website is better for my particular topic, but depending on what topic you're working on, you might, you'll, you'll definitely want to try them both. So this one, the internet and video games, causes of increased aggressiveness among young people. I think that one looks good, so I'll click on it. Um, and let's see, do we have a link to the full text? I'm not seeing it, but I did see it on, oh, there it is right there. Okay, so we'll click full text, and then uh, it's going to make us actually, once again, pick a link to the full text. So if that ever happens to you, just keep clicking through until you actually get to the PDF. And it's downloading it, and here it is, so I can read it. And again, this was freely available online through the website called Directory of Open Access Journals. And once again, this one, you know, it's got its abstract, and you could go through, and you could again, review the sections and decide whether you think it's an empirical study or not, if that's the kind of paper that you're supposed to be using. I'm just going to go back here, because I don't think that the directory of open, open access journals has a filter for that. Uh, yeah, no, it looks like it doesn't. So uh, Digital Commons Network and the directory of open access journals are really good options. I'm going to go back to Google, and I'm just going to say that a third option for you, because the different websites that exist are constantly changing and there's always new open access materials becoming available online, is you could just Google open access journals psychology and see what comes up. And then from there, you could go into any of these options and you could do your search keywords and see what you come up with. There are many sources for finding open access journals online, and these are just a few examples. You should now have a good sense of the difference between journals that are published using the traditional academic publishing model and ones that are published using open access, which I believe is an increasingly useful option for you as you investigate research questions. Music